So um, I'm going to try if my webcam can work, but yes, it is. Apologies for the internet connection. Okay, so I want everyone to cross their arms, not because it's going to be a lecture or something, but it's an experiment that we want to try. So please cross your arms and uh, this presentation is going to be really interactive. So I really want you guys to do what I'm going to ask you to do it. And before going uh, to the next slide, I want you to tell me what do you think change means? I know everybody knows the definition, but if you can just um, write the definition in the chat, it will be perfect. So I really want everyone to write what do they think change means. Yes, with arms crossed. OK, so there are very interesting definitions and opportunity for things to get either better or worse. So let's see what the next slide says. According to Oxford Dictionary, an act or process through which something becomes different. So basically, it's an act or process. I am not trying to say that um, it's something that you guys don't know. Obviously, you know it, but um, it's just that we really want to redefine the definition of what change is. So now, again, I'm going to ask you to change your arms. If you right, like to put your arms on your, for your right, right hand on your left arm, so do the opposite. So that we can see how do you feel. So change the direction of your arms. I'm going to ask you in a while, how are you going to feel? Because then we are going to do another experiment. So before change management, I would like to ask you actually to recall when you were in school. In fact, I'm sure your parents must have shared these kind of stories that when you were in preschool, how did you feel when you were going to the school? Did you cry on your first day or were you happy? I am definitely sure that a lot of people were not happy and they were crying. That's the same scenario when you move from school to high school. Some people are really excited for the change. Some people are sad because they are going to lose their friends. And um, when you move from your college to professional life, how was it? Your first day in the office, just think, your first day. I'm sure a lot of people have not started their professional lives, but if anyone can just relate to it. OK, so how about changing your phone? Have you guys changed your phone recently or in your life? What was the feeling? Were you excited? Of course, if you were moved to a little, uh, I would say, degraded one or a lower uh, phone, then you must have felt awkward. But if you upgraded your phone, you must have felt really nice. Changing your house, changing your cities. If you were to ask me right now, I've changed my house and my city, country, everything. So it's a very different change for me. So another change which I felt right now is that I've moved to FOSS. And how did I feel about FOSS? That's a topic. But just imagine that when you come to a new organization, it's very different, right? So if a newcomer comes to KDE, try to imagine how that person feels. Try to be me. <laughs> that how was the feeling to be part of FOSS community? Similarly, when I joined, I heard about GitLab. And GitLab, when it was migrating to GitLab, a lot of people loved Fabricator and they really didn't want to move to GitLab. And I'm sure that it was an awkward feeling and it took long, really long for you to accept this fact. So why do we hate change? Um, I would really want you to write that why do you want to, why do you hate change? So start typing, why do you hate change? A lot of people, these are not something which I am saying, but a lot of theories have said that people hate change because they believe that they are going to give up on their beliefs because they are really loyal to their beliefs. Do you remember your mother if she bought some brand and even your wife or yourself and all the females or all the 
gentlemen who have bought new brands of, I would say, food or clothes, you were a little nervous about it because you were used to your old brands, because you were loyal to it. Sometimes you feel surrendered to someone, you really don't want to uh, go for it. So there are mixed feelings. You feel feared, you feel guilty, you are in doubt. I know the world hates change, but this is the only way you can progress. So you really need to start thinking, how can you actually change? Okay, right now I'm asking you guys if you want to just uh, don't want to cross your arms, that's fine. But I'm sure it must have been super awkward because change is here. Trust me, it's your mind, how you actually train it. So what are the benefits of change? Now we are going to move towards it. Before we were talking about hate. Now we are going to talk about change. So basically, if you think this is a very nice picture, if you see that change is basically a chance. So it can help you promoting new skills. Um, I'm sure a lot of people can relate here. When we moved from um, Fabricator to GitLab, you learned a new skill. You learned a new software. You learned a new uh, environment. It helps innovation, and it also allows you to progress. So when you are in such a situation, think about uh, how do you feel yourself? when you are in such circumstances? Do you think that you are doing a right thing? According to this picture, these people are thinking that maybe something will happen and they don't have to change. But trust me, without change, you cannot move in life. This is a cycle of change. If something is constant and you need, you will feel a dip and a transition and you will feel really bad about it. But then there's a new beginning always. And again, because change is, not constant every time everything has to change and that's how the world is moving so now we'll come back to the main point that how are we going to actually accept change accepting change is uh, as i've just read read the comments that somebody has read uh, written that you cannot actually think that changes are always better i agree totally and i'm going to talk about that as well right now so you need to acknowledge the change. It did not mean that you have to like, choose, or support. Just try to understand what is the change. Why is it? And why do you need to change? Try to be flexible. Try to embrace it. As I said, changes, constant is going to come again and again in your life. You are going to change. You think that you are not changing, trust me, you, as I told you, that how your school life changed, how your professional life changed, everything is change. So if you feel that you're not going to change, express it, express your fears and the feelings. Communication is the key of success. So you really need to communicate. And the, I would say the best thing is to be optimistic about it. If from the beginning you're thinking that it's not going to work out, it will not work out. So you really, really need to have a positive feeling about it. You need to have a positive attitude. Also, you really need to understand that it's an active process. It's not something which we are going to just discuss right now in 20 minutes and you will start doing it and you will learn change management. Not at all, because it's actually a long, long process. It will go on and on. So you need to start changing your attitude towards experience, people, ideas. OK, so that was a side where we talked about accepting the change. What if you are on the opposite side and you are implementing the change? So what are you going to do? First of all, you need to start with the end in mind. You need to think that, OK, this is something which we are going to do. Now, currently, we are talking about KDE. So if you are thinking to start a new project or if you have a new task, understand KDE's culture, understand the organization's culture where you're going to implement it, how people are going to react to it. Again, in this way, uh, in this method also, you need to communicate, communicate, communicate. If you are not going to communicate the benefits to the people, they would never understand. I don't know if um, in your school it happened or not, but I remember my teacher, she appointed most 
naughty kid in the class as monitor because she thought that if he will be in control the whole class will be in control so if you think that somebody is there who is going to be the most resistant person try to talk to him first so that he doesn't take the same attitude to others so you need to uh, take him in confidence take him or her in confidence and if you have some supporters you need to understand their values as well and you need to uh, i would say embrace them try to walk in their shoes understand why they are hating change create a win win situation if i'm implementing something in kde and i'm just talking about kde's progress i need to talk about kde community's progress as well just can't say that okay if you're going to bring this change we will be uh, shown over there or somewhere but we need to understand how the community can also benefit from it so the best thing i'm sure the project managers uh, with us right now would understand this that any project is actually divided into small steps and it's measurable so if you are implementing a change you really need to do that now i'm going to um say uh, say share something really interesting with you so what are you going to do right now is if you have a paper and pen just start writing the changes in your life you have seen if not now then what you can do is that whenever you have time and you think some day or maybe in your life you are going to face a change and you don't know how to react so you are going to use that candy jar and you are going to put all these happy moments in that jar and whenever you feel that you are not able to accept that change you can just read it out and trust me this will help you and always remember that without acceptance opportunities slip slip away so um i don't know if you guys have heard about kodak films uh, case kodak was a top notch company when we had a uh, film cameras but when there was an industry revolution all the cameras moved to digital cameras and what happened kodak didn't react at that time and they said that me the film cameras will be the one in the world and it didn't happen completely gone from the market they could have reacted in a different way they could have launched memory cards they could have launched anything else but they didn't so you could see what has happened with kodak similarly same thing happened with nokia you have seen that android has changed the world right now and nokia didn't implement the needs and nokia has nokia's market share has gone so i think if you really want to understand why change management is important you really need to understand i would say that you really need to understand the critical role of change management so if you think that you really want to implement something you can plan you can control and adjust do it so create a stronger working relationship with newcomers i know that including me i would say paul and yofitos were really supportive and because of them i was able to do it. otherwise be initially when i joined as a newcomer in the fast community it wouldn't have been easier for me so whenever a newcomer comes try to understand they are coming from a different operating system environment it will take time for them to adjust it's easy for everyone to come to the fast environment because as i said change is here and we have been using certain systems or certain processes for a very very long time and moving shifting to the process is not that easy secondly to think that something which is coming and it's not good or beneficial for kde or community express it's okay you really don't have to say that that okay you don't have to uh, implement this right now just try to understand that why this person is not reacting the way you wanted so remember that the success factors of change the person i would say is you and the person who is implementing so the acceptor and implementer both have to understand why change management is important so in the end i would say accept the things you cannot change and change the things you can because it's you the one who would decide either you want to go for a new way or an old way i think i have done my presentation pretty earlier so if you have any questions 
Alison, do you want to join? Absolutely. Thank you so much for that. That was really mind opening. Thank you. Just trying to get my camera back on. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so we have a question and it yes. says, as new to KDE, yes. can you point one? Yeah, can you point one thing you believe we should change in order to improve? Oh my God, that's a debatable topic. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, whatever changes I feel, I have been sharing that uh, now and then publicly, whatever I felt, I have shared that in the promo group. I've shared that uh, with everyone. So that's not something I can say one thing or something. I think uh, as a community, Katie is impressed that we work all along together. So I really don't think that there's one thing I could say. I'd have to agree. As all, and also Katie in newcomer, but um, Paul just said how diplomatic I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna start calling Anika the diplomat. Yeah, it's okay. That's who I am. <laughs> well, if there's no more questions, maybe there's some in the public chat. Yeah. We get lots of great comments though. Yes, because I really wanted to keep it interactive because change management is not something which I can teach as a lecture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What change would you make to KDE? What I do think, I yeah, that's a question in the comments from Jonathan. Oh, I see. Yeah, so I think right now we are working on KDE and I really want that to work out. And that's for you as well, Alison. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, put me on the spot. It's not my talk. Paul just said that. I didn't say anything. He's just written good question for Alison too. <laughs> so oh, we have another question, maybe some quick poll about the GitLab change. That we do. Up to you if you would like to host. Yes. That yes. So how are you excited or not excited? Let's see. OK, Adam says, how to do change when it affects a lot of people like a community? OK, so um, as I said that you really can't change something overnight. You really need to understand the dynamics of the community and you need to show them how beneficial it is for them not the way uh, you pursue it right if you think that your perception is the same way it's not because trust me the other person who's going to receive the change will not take it so you really need to do it in a way that the whole community and if you think that whole community can be happy it cannot be you really need to go with authority and you have to try to show them the positivity i right. hope i've answered adam's question I think so. He can always answer a follow-up. He says, yes. Yeah. Okay. Neofitos has a question for you too. He says, would you say KDE is accepting to change based on your experience so far and the suggestions you made? What was your experience? Okay, that's a long question. So I would say that, yes, I have seen a lot of changes. Um, like for Instagram, I've started posting a lot. There was, I think, the first change which I try to implement yes and i said that always uh, you cannot be right like in my case as well if i am um, saying that okay this is something which should be changed maybe i'm wrong so i need to even understand that whether i'm right or wrong so the other thing which i said is about kd network and i was very happy that everybody was really receptive and supportive about it so i would say my experience has, experience has been really good up till now and trust me it shows on my face if even though I'm diplomatic, but it shows on my face if I'm not happy. All right, Adam asks, Anika, what is your hardest change? How did you handle it? Okay, so right now is my hardest change, to be honest, because I have, um, I'm living here all alone. My family's in Pakistan, and I've 
changed my country. I moved from my family. So yes, it's the hardest change right now for me. And there was Corona. So I was all alone in this house. I feel your pain. Um, Nia Peters says, as a follow-up, I think, so we should be accepting to proposals for change as well. And Adam is sending virtual hugs. And so is Paul. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, we do have time or are we done? We have a couple more minutes so we can answer more questions. I think that's like a really interactive session, trust me, because I really didn't think that it will end so soon. Although I had an internet glitch as well. Well, I think that's okay. It gives everyone more time to interact with you. What do you miss from Windows? <laughs> I never worked for Windows, so yes, Windows operating system. I miss it, of course, because um, as I said, the change is here, right? So. Uh, it's very difficult for me. I am in the transition phase right now from Windows to Plasma. So the only thing which I miss, Paul, you know, is that the mic thing, because whenever I turn the mic on my Plasma, it just disturbs me. So that's the only thing which I miss in the Windows. We have a comment that says, you've been doing great on promo, and that is something I absolutely agree a thousand percent. Thank you so much. We have another question, maybe our last question. How do you gather quality feedback from those who are being asked to undergo a change, i.e. polls, focus groups, etc.? Okay, so it totally depends on the community. If you think that your community is, uh, to be honest, receptive or uh, intellectual enough to go for a focus group, um, you can go for a focus group. And if you think that polls will be much easier for them, so you can go for polls because see, it depends if you are from a technical side or a non-technical side. And if you are going to ask a non-technical person about technical in the focus group, it will not be easy. So you really need to understand. Uh, I wouldn't say that there will be one exact measure for one community. You need to have, you have to see what are the limits of it. I hope that answers. I don't know. Let's see if Hudson sends anything. Yes, maybe. Does it believe so? And thank you. Thank you. 